Uh, it was a great trip, and you were terrific, and I enjoyed our conversation. Yeah, likewise. And, thank you. And you are the Suffolk County PBA president. You became that not long before you came to Puerto Rico. Correct. And you guys uh, did, in fact, endorse my friend Donald Trump uh, last week, and your friend, too. Yes, sir, and I brought you a gift, Sid. So you I thought, did. thought you might like this. Hope I got the size right. Put Suffolk County PBA for Trump 2024. Love it. Yeah, and then, What's uh, the size? Look at the front here. I now, went with XL because I figure you're in good shape. XL's you know, about you're right. Gonna, uh, you're bigger you know. than I am. <laughs> you're in really good shape. You were lifting heavier weight than me. I didn't forget. Uh, and the Trump hair. I love that. Uh, that's, that's a great, great shirt. That is a great shirt. Oh, I thought we got we got you a few little uh, some other swag here, a little swag back. Well, thank you. So thank you for having thank me you. on. But that's. Thank you. Uh, that is for you, you know, I spend most of my time hanging out with the guys in Nassau County. Bruce Blakeman, Anthony D. Esposito, Peter King, Joe Cairo. Great guys. Great man. guys. So I know Ed Romain a little bit. Mm -hmm. uh, Lee Zeldin's a good buddy of mine. He's in Shirley in Suffolk. But I know a lot of the folks in Suffolk. So now you're my, you're my Suffolk guy. So. Oh, we, have, we love you. Come out east. So come, <laughs> yeah. come in the water. The water's warm. Come I, on out. You know, yes. I was there. My, my friend Jen Delandro, she owns Botox uh, places all over New York, all over. So she's got a house in the Hamptons, um, if you call it the Hamptons, Hampton Bays, you know, right there. So she took me to the beach. It's by Shirley. And that was the Suffolk County Beach. Oh, yeah. That was your beach. Oh, yeah. Yep. It was That's a nice day. It's a, lot of, love a, lot, of, County. a lot of illegals there, i got to be honest. <laughs> I went to get lunch. It was like 95 illegals inside the, uh, what was that all about? So I guess you guys aren't completely devoid of that, huh? No, no, we're not. You know, there's no invisible barrier at 110. Uh, we get the illegals. We get the fentanyl. Uh, we get the gang, the crime. And that's uh, why our members are out there. And our members do a tremendous job keeping the public safety. Lou, was that more Suffolk than Nassau, specifically like MS-13 and that type of stuff? Because I remember, yeah. I remember Zeldin, you know, the story came out. His daughters were like studying in the the house one day and there were gunshots on his porch shots fire yeah that was gang activity incredible and i tell you i love lee i um you know we were deeply involved in his campaign and even though we came up a little bit short on that uh, the republicans wouldn't control the house if it wasn't for what lee did and uh you know that people were out there supporting him it really is a different country because of that of that work and uh most certainly ms-13 is a scourge sid and that's one of the great things about president trump so i'll tell you the type of people you're dealing with when you deal with MS-13 and now these Venezuelan gangs that are taken over. Um, you know, we, we had children that were lured and chopped up with machetes. That's oh, the God. type of people you're dealing with. Yeah. We yeah. had one individual shoots, shoots a woman, right? And then her two-year-old, right? Puts the gun to the head of the two-year-old and assassinates the two-year-old. Oh. Then takes the toy that the two-year-old has and gives it to his girlfriend's kid. Oh, my so God. So this is the, the, the type of savagery like that, Hamas. that you're dealing with. Exactly yeah. like Hamas. Yes. I know Tom Holman yeah. talks about this stuff mm -hmm. all the time. I know you know Tom. And mm -hmm. he talks about these horrors, which happen at the border as well. That's the issue with the open border, which you guys end up getting in, in uh, Suffolk County. But I think you'd agree, Lou, Lou Savello, the uh, Suffolk County PBA president, terrific guy. I think you'd agree that the country really fell apart after George Floyd. I mean, look, he didn't deserve to die. I'm the first to say it. But, and I hate saying it's in front of Dawn, but he was a scumbag. The mm -hmm. guy had nine arrests. He put a gun in a pregnant woman's stomach. He was high on fentanyl and heroin when they arrested the guy. Not exactly the face of why we should turn our country upside down, but we did, and we've never recovered. Is that fair to say? Oh, it's absolutely fair to say. You know, they, they almost want to canonize him for sainthood. It's, it's a com complete rewrite of who the person was. This was not a good person. And certainly did not der deserve to die. That's, that's completely tragic. Um, but it was an isolated incident, and instead what they turned it into is as there was this systemic problem with police, and they demonized us, they villainized us, they put a huge target on the back yeah. of every police officer in this country, and that is why we are here supporting President Trump, because that needs to end. Well, especially Harris. She was out there with the program to get these folks out of jail. She was out there encouraging people to put up the bail money, which is absolutely grotesque. Now, tell me about this, uh, Lou, the uh, the federal 1033 program, which Harris was also critical of. Yeah, and, and she still is critical of. You know, if it was up to her, she would she would end it. And that's a program that provides us with life-saving equipment, Sid. So when you talk about bulletproof vests, you talk about long guns, you talk about armored vehicles, all military surplus equipment that gets put out to police departments across this country. Now, if we don't have that equipment that means when we have a terrorist attack right when we have an act which could happen with all the illegals coming across the border right, right. you ain't kidding the, the likelihood of that happening is so much greater now because of this border you know but you have that happen or you, ha you have something homegrown you have an active shooter thank god we haven't some had somebody go into a school and start killing school children here in new york or in long island 
But we have to be prepared. Yeah. If we don't have those long guns, we don't have those armored vehicles, we don't have those bulletproof vests, that's going to result in dead cops and dead children. Oh, my right? God. She really hates us, huh? Yeah, she absolutely does. <laughs> I mean, and and President Trump, to his credit, because under Obama, that program was cut. The, one of the first things he did when he got into office was restore that program to what it should be. You know, uh, not that far from here, we did have one of those events. It's not New York or New Jersey, but in Connecticut and Sandy Hook, obviously. Uh, last thing, talking about Trump, the difference between him and Harris and Obama. Let me remind everybody, when Biden had that overpriced, ridiculous gala at Cipriani's with Clinton and Obama, he raised $25 million. Big deal. Trump raised twice as much the next week. But where was Trump that day? He was sitting in a Massapequa funeral home with Stephanie Diller because her husband, the courageous Diller, Jonathan Diller, was murdered. Does that not tell Lou the whole story right there? That's it. That, that is exactly the difference between the two candidates. You have one that wants to defund us and the other that wants to defend us. Huh. Um, we certainly cannot have four more years of this madness for our police officers. I can tell you in Suffolk County, Sid, recruitment is so down. So we used to have about 40,000 people that would take our test to want to become a Suffolk County police officer. That number fell by two thirds on our last test. Wow. People don't want the job anymore. You know, people don't want the job here, certainly in New York City. But even out in Long Island, in Nassau and Suffolk, people don't want to become police officers because they don't feel supported. They feel that there is a target on their back and they don't have the support of the elected officials. That certainly has to change. President Trump, with the scourge of MS-13, he traveled to Long Island, came to Brentwood, Long Island, stood shoulder to shoulder with us in that fight. We need that sort of leadership again. That's a heck of a job. You know, my friend Anthony D'Esposito was a cop. Now he's a congressman. And I see that for you. Young, good looking, smart, tremendous speaker. You should run for office one day and one day soon. Suffolk County needs some good politicians. So what do you oh, think? Oh, thank you, sir. But I uh, I have a job to do here for my members. And uh, they're all out there right now driving around in our, their police cars listening to this show. And, and my right. only focus is uh, representing them. But I tell you, Anthony D'Esposito, he phenomenal. That's a guy that we have to get reelected. Nick LaLota, another guy we have to get reelected. Andy Garbarino. These congressmen are fighting for us. And if, you, if you know, President Trump's wins... But you lose the House and you lose the Senate, well, we got nothing. Exactly you know? right. We, we have to focus here. Everyone wants to focus on the swing states. Don't forget about New York. Get out there. Make sure you vote. Make sure your family votes. Go to our website, www.suffolkpba.org, and take a look at our endorsements. We vet these candidates. We make sure that they back the blue, that they back law enforcement, that they care about your family and about public safety. Take a look at those endorsements before you vote. Excellent job, folks. There he is, the PBA president out of Suffolk County, my friend Lou Savello. Really great work. And again, check out the website one more time. www.suffolkpba.org. Go check it out today, folks. We're done. We're going to come back, uh, God willing, as Gene would say, Monday at 6 o'clock. Lou, amazing week as always. Lou Rapino, Justin Ellick, terrific work. Noam Layden, I'm sure you enjoyed this week. Your friend Harris. <laughs> God willing, we'll all be back for a show Monday morning. J.D. Vance will be here next week and maybe Trump as well. I'm working on it. We're done for this week. Lou, thanks again from all of us on Sitting Friends in the Morning. To all of you, have a safe weekend until Monday.